Hi guys, I wanted to show you my 426 Hemi model that works as a real engine, even though it's electric. The speedometer and odometer also works, but later it's going to be connected to an automatic transmission. I even made the model of the selector for 3D printing. I tried to make it as realistic as I could. For example, I simulated a fuel tank gauge that lowers if the engine is on, with the warning light turning on if it gets too low. The temperature gauge is also simulated, going up slowly until it reaches the middle while the engine is running, and drops very slowly if the engine is off. The second half of the indicator shows the real temperature of the motor, so if it gets too hot it will show it and the warning light will turn on. Both gauges are affected by the speed of the engine. Right now this board is upside down to show you the components that make everything work. Over here are the buttons, switches and potentiometers. It's there only for testing and I will later put them in the other side with a more realistic look. This is the main circuit board that is mostly populated by transistors and resistors, so the Arduino Nano can control those high current components. I put two adjustable buck converters. One is for the starter solenoid because it requires very specific voltage. The second buck converter outputs the voltage to the main motor, but I modify it to sustain the idle speed and to create some lag when accelerating and decelerating, so it reacts more realistically. For example, here's without the capacitors that produce the lag. And here's with very high value capacitors to create a lot of lag. The second Arduino Nano and circuit board are for the automatic transmission I plan to build using 3D printed parts. For now I just have a few LEDs and a motor with a speed sensor for testing purposes. Over here is the original cluster from a 2000 Chevrolet Trailblazer for the tachometer, speedometer and odometer. I transfer the stepper motors and the display to my cluster and add two gauges for the fuel and temperature indicators, which came from voltmeters. I also added the OLED display and the LEDs. The model itself is actually made by Revell. I started by adding the ball bearings to the crankshaft. I attached two magnets to it, so a Hall effect sensor could measure the speed. I extended the shaft of the motor to fit the fan and glue everything together. I also added a thermistor to measure the motor temperature. For the rest of the pulleys, I also add the ball bearings. The starter has a push-pull solenoid that I have to modify to be smaller, have a ball bearing and a spring. After that, I work on cosmetic details like the exhaust manifold that originally were hollow. I fill it with epoxy putty, sand it and paint it. There are more things to do on this project, and there are so many other projects underway, so stay tuned. I hope you like it, and there are more details on my website. Link in the description. Bye-bye.